Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans, and all you dang beautiful droids across our beloved empire, welcome to a video where I never thought, <laughs> I never thought this day would come. We are going to be talking about my predictions for Jedi Master Kenobi's requirements. This is something we do for every single Galactic Legend, and the conversation has been a storm lately in the community. I want to throw my own two cents there. We do this for every Galactic Legend that's coming. We've been pretty on point with a lot of them today, and I'm worried about one possible requirement in particular that we will talk more towards the end of the video here, but just a quick clarification. Before we get too into it, I just want to put it out there that this is all pure speculation at this point with the requirements so do not go out of your way and gear up these characters i'm going to talk about today because we do not know if they will be needed but it's a very likely situation it could be but we don't know the relic levels and we do not know for sure so take it with a grain of salt but put it on your radar because i think it's going to happen in case you missed it probably have already seen it at this point most likely you have not missed it we already got the first batch of requirements announced the other day and the next batch will be announced on may 19th and the final batch will be announced on june nine so in the next month here we're gonna know all the requirements for jedi master Kenobi. we can have a little bit of fun in the meantime and get our thoughts going i would love to hear what your thoughts are the first requirements have been general kenobi negotiator mace windu ala sakura and bo katan and really that relicate has been kind of a stinger i've seen a couple complaints but no one crying or spilling milk over it or but yeah that's right move milk yes gary yeah 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 you're funny yeah, you're good. Yeah, here, take an air horn, all right. Let's go ahead and roll some gameplay. Gary, put something in the back off me. What do we got? Uh, yeah, that'll work. We get some record gameplay for us. I guess the Bad Batch are still kind of an important topic to be discussed in Galaxy of Heroes. So let's talk about a quick summary on the last few requirements, and we'll kind of build on top of that moving forward. So we've already gotten these first batch of requirements right here with Kenobi, Mace Windu, Ayla, bo and of course the negotiator. Pretend the negotiator is in that last spot right here. We got to kind of keep a few things in mind. When we're thinking of Galactic Legends, there's a few things. It's not all about just money, money, money. There is a degree of it. And of course, there's a degree of spreadsheet analysis where they look at a spreadsheet and say, huh, not a lot of people have this character geared up. We're going to make that a requirement. There is a degree of all that. But really the most important thing is kind of Finding the big moments and characters in a big Star Wars character like Master Kenobi and making them a requirement. And so far, I'm seeing a theme. We're seeing some Jedi that were killed during Order 66. Bo-Katan is that marquee character. Usually, every Galactic Legend has two marquee characters that are required. I honestly don't know if there's going to be a second marquee character coming in the next month here. If they're going to release the last batch of requirements in july unless they do not care that you get that second marquee character in time which could be a possibility it might be just a one marquee to style event where you just need bo katan here and bo katan obviously was important in the battle on mandalore and negotiator it goes without saying so let's start talking about based off that theme right there moving on to what i think are very likely characters that are going to be required i'm not saying these are going to be the next ones announced on may 19th if it happens wow we're really good at this prediction game here but i think these five characters right here have a high degree of likelihood of being required but again don't go out start gearing up relicking up these characters especially their bad characters like commander cody now, maybe i'm a bit rough commander cody isn't a horrible character He's an all right character when you put him in the right type of clone trooper line, but still not God tier amazing. And he's one of those characters that fits two purposes. One, he's important to the General Kenobi, Jedi Master Kenobi storyline because Jedi Master Kenobi was the general of the 212th Attack Battalion. And of course, Commander Cody was the commander of the 212th Attack Battalion here. So it, this character I think is gonna be a no brainer requirement for uh, Jedi, Jedi Master Kenobi, but don't, don't go out of your way and gear him up. He's, uh, besides just being part of the, uh, the Kenobi storyline, he's also one of those characters not a lot of people have geared up. So he's one of those spreadsheet characters, like the Rose Tico, the Royal Guards of previous requirements where not a lot of people have him geared up. That's where the money aspect comes in. So it's a two-for-one special for Capcom games. They're staying true to the Kenobi lore while also trying to get people to gear up characters that they do not quite have. Moving on, another character I think I have a high degree of confidence in, Koi Ganjin. The master of Obi-Wan Kenobi that we saw in episode one. I think this is a very likely character. And again, kind of like Commander Cody, fits two purposes. Important to the Kenobi storyline and his upbringing and training, of course. And secondly, spreadsheet character. Now, this character was a top tier meta character back in goodness. When did Zetas come out? 2017. Maul versus Kenobi was the big meta way, way back when, when Zetas first were implemented into the game. But really, 
past three years, there hasn't been any need to get Kawhi Ganjin up and running. So especially those people playing for the past couple years, there's been zero reason to gear up or even farm Kawhi Ganjin for that matter. Spreadsheet character fits the Kenobi lore. I think it's a no-brainer opportunity for Capital Games right here. Now, Darth Maul. For the requirements for Galactic Legends, we don't often see, oh, what's the right word? Rival requirements in here. When you look at Ray, you don't see Kylo in there. When you see Kyle's requirements, there's no Ray requirement. Uh, when you look at Sith Eternal, there's no Luke requirements. And you get the point that I'm getting at here. We don't see a lot of rivalry characters in there. I guess veteran smuggler Han Solo with Kylo Ren is a slight rivalry. I don't know if that's really the right way to, to package that together. But point being is, I think Darth Maul is a really important character to the storyline of Kenobi. Heck, it went into the Rebels TV show. We saw it in episode one that we saw in the Clone Wars TV show, and it seeped into the Rebels TV show as well. So I think you know, Maul is a very important component to the Kenobi storyline. Of course, this character is already kind of needed to get Sith Eternal up and running. So it is one of those generous requirements because it's a two for one special character. I think this has got a good degree, maybe not as high of a likelihood as Commander Cody and Qui-Gon Jinn, but I think it's a character to definitely put your eye out for and not a, an amazing character, but people have him geared up solely for Sith Eternal. Moving on, General Grievous, another one of those rivalry characters. I mean, when you think of Kenobi, it's hard to not imagine General Grievous. They were going at each other for the entirety of the Clone Wars, practically. And, of course, we saw it Cole, uh, come to the very conclusion in Episode 3. And the great thing about this character, he's amazing. You need him if you're playing Galaxy Heroes at one point or another. Uh, it'd be, this would be a very, very generous requirement to throw on there i think the only reason why he might not even show up is because he's just too generous of a character to get up and running but i think if they of capital games is fine putting out freebies and requirements general Grievous might be who knows they might put relicate requirements on him so they make it a little bit more challenging because a lot of people have relic seven general Grievous out there nowadays and lastly grand master yoda very important reason why I'm putting him on this list. Great character overall. Good plug and play viability. Amazing of Jedi. You guys probably should know this at this point. But I'm predicting what is the Jedi Master Kenobi event going to look like. And I feel like usually what happens is the first three tiers, unless they're going to completely rewrite the script, and I would love that, the first three tiers are big iconic moments for a character and kind of their character development. And one of the biggest moments is when Kenobi and Yoda had to battle through the Jedi Temple, seeing Slade Padawans, Jedi, clone troopers, to get to the Jedi Temple to put out a distress signal. I have a feeling, I'm just going to put it out there, Tier 3 is where you're going to see Yoda and Kenobi having to work together to fight through the Order 66 Jedi Temple scene. And then, of course, 4, 5, and 6, those tiers would most likely be just kind of rehashes of Anakin versus Kenobi down the line. So I think these are very likely characters to be required. Uh, only reason why Yoda and Grievous might not show up is because a lot of people have them up and running. Let's talk about the third batch of requirements here that, again, I don't know if I have as high of confidence in these next five that I have on this list here, but I think there is two that are very reasonable to bring up on this on these uh, next five characters here. Let's talk about Plo as well as Kit Fisto. So these first two characters are kind of falling into the theme of Mace Windu and Ayla. Jedi we saw be killed, or you know, we, we presume Mace Windu is killed. But, but characters that were killed during Order 66 in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. We saw Plo be killed when he's flying around in his little uh, uh, ship. And then, of course, Kit Fisto was with Mace Windu when they tried to put down Emperor Palpatine's rise to power. And these two characters are those two things. They were important to the overall storyline. I don't know if, uh, I mean, Ayla Skirt wasn't really that meaningful for the Kenobi storyline. Not much. <laughs> Not really as much as Kit Fisto or Plo, but if we're kind of sticking to the episode three slain Jedi during Order 66, I think these two are, are going to kind of fit into that theme of Ayla Sakura and Mace Windu as well. Now, Old Ben and Farm Boy Luke. Oh, man, can we just back up? Let me show him. Let me show him the gear. Yeah, just look at that. Look at this Luke right here. If that doesn't spell out ka I don't know what does in this game because again they're trying to pick characters that of course fit the lore of kenobi but also are going to make money and as you guys know i'm a crack in this game i spent lots of money and i do not even have my farm boy luke so what is that gear eight gear nine whatever it is such a low gear and it kind of makes sense in the kenobi storyline now remember set the turtle is a great example you got characters acquired for when he was uh in the clone wars when he was in the the, the original trilogy and of course some character requirements going into the the sequel so although master obi-wan kenobi old ben and farmer luke are a little after episode three i don't think that's going to preclude him 
from being a requirement. And I have other evidence to the back this up. Obi-Wan Kenobi makes a lot of sense. Usually repeat characters are required just like we needed a bunch of rays we needed a bunch of kylos we needed a bunch of luke's lots of luke's and of course we needed to have a bunch of palpatines to get this internal i think just because he's a uh, he's a kenobi he is going to end up being required and furthermore in case you did not see it the other day we showed a data mine where we're going to be getting a bunch of rework character art not too far into the distant future right here gary can we bring him on over here and i only showed Anakin and Farm Boy Luke, but they found even more of the data mine since that video. Here's Farm Boy Luke, in case you did not see, they're trying to put an extra fresh coat of paint on him. And Obi Wan Kenobi is also getting a fresh coat of paint on him as well, looking more like the uh, the, the actual actor who played him in A New Hope. And there was a couple other ones we had Ahsoka Tan, her looking a lot like Rosario in this art right here. Kenobi. Uh, Apparently, uh, Kylo got a little bit of art changes. I don't really see it. He looks a little bit different at the skin color. And Ray is getting a little bit of an art uh, uplift as a facelift as well. So I think the reason why we're seeing character art changes for these particular characters, I have a feeling all these characters are in relation to Galactic Legends. I don't think Ahsoka, she's not on my list. I don't think she's going to be required for... Uh, Kenobi's requirements, but maybe for Fallen Skywalker down the road. I'm not putting her on the list here, but I do think Farm Boy Luke and Obi-Wan are going to be on this list as well. Mainly because Farm Boy Luke, not a lot of people have him geared up just like myself and Obi-Wan just because he's a Kenobi. And we do see both of these characters because a Kenobi, what does he do? He ultimately watches over Farm Boy Luke in the original trilogy. So I think this makes a lot of sense. And of course, I'm sure that's going to be kind of the core pl plot line when we get the Kenobi TV show coming out in 20. 22 let's come back over to the game real quick and talk about the last few final bits and pieces that i want to bring up for the requirements right here jangle fett now this one i think might be a stretch uh i i, I was considering putting savage on this list i think savage is also a possibility because savage and maul they had a brief encounter with kenobi during the clone wars era but i think jangle fett kind of makes sense in terms of episode two there's a lot of conflict going on between kenobi and jangle fett when we look at the attack of the clones here I think this is kind of a flex spot. You could put a lot of different options here. Maybe it's Ahsoka. Maybe it's Jango Fett. Maybe it's Savage Opress. I'm not quite sure. Because, again, I was expecting a second marquee character. And right now, it's not looking like we're going to get a second marquee requirement for this. And you might be asking, why don't they have any Jedi Knight Anakin or General Anakin Skywalker in here? The, the assumption is right now a very good assumption, especially when you take a look at the description for Kenobi's events inside of the uh, Journey Guide. It basically, all it does, it solely talks about Anakin, 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 Anakin inside this Galactic Legend preview for Jedi Master Kenobi. So I do not think we're going to need Anakin requirements for this character. Of course, it would make sense. But just like when we got Rey and Kylo, you didn't need Rey to get Kylo and you didn't need Kylo to get Rey. I don't see them adding Anakin here because I'm assuming in the next couple months, we're going to get the, Jedi, uh, the, the fallen Skywalker, Lord Vader requirements it would be weird to add anakin there when they're most likely going to have all the anakins required for um for fallen skywalker galactic legends lord vader down the road so i'm not putting anakin on this list but i do want to talk about one more dare i say conehead in the room that lots of people are worried about including myself and i've been saying this over and over again and we have this bonus tab the jmk jedi master kenobi oh no tab and that's this Kiati Mundi looking conehead right here, which, as you guys know, is a Geonosis Territory Battle Republic offensive exclusive character. Very difficult to get your hands on. An extremely end game character. Not a lot of people even have this character unlocked. The, the, the Reek mission is extremely difficult to tackle. But when you look at these requirements I laid out, these aren't really difficult characters to get unless they require absurd amounts of Relic 7s and relegates there there's not even two marquee characters on this list here that i'm putting in a lot of these characters are generals like general grievous uh yoda darth maul's already needed for sith eternal and so i i'm hoping this is wrong but i'm just putting this oh no dab on here because i see a lot of people talking about there is a good chance i think caddy Mundi could be required as that one difficult character to get that's going to gate a lot of people from getting this highly anticipated character jedi master kenobi and requiring a character that's from uh, Territory Battles is not out of the ordinary. Technically, Rebel Officer Leia Organa is indirectly required for uh, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker because you need Rolo, Rebel Officer Leia Organa, to get Jedi Knight Luke, which in turn is required to get Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. So it's not out of the question 
that Katamundi could be on this list because as of now, there really aren't any crazy legendaries. Like for uh, Fallen Skywalker, Lord Vader, I think it's no brainer. General Anakin Skywalker is going to be required. And that's already kind of a tough character to get. So I think he's already got some difficult characters to acquire. But really for Kenobi, unless it's going to be a very accessible character like Sith Eternal, I'm thinking we got to be ready. Clench your cheeks for what could be that one character that is very difficult. And right now, Kiadi Mooney's on a lot of people's big foreheaded minds like this guy right here. But we'll have to wait and see again. Don't freak out about Kiadi Mooney. I'm just putting it out there to get you ready for the possibility that he could be needed sometime down the road. But until then, do not go ahead and gear up all these crazy speculative uh, requirements that I'm putting out there. I think it's a very reasonable that a lot of these will be needed down the road, but we don't know for sure if they're going to be needed, and we do not know their gear and relic levels as well. But in the meantime, let's have fun. You let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think will be required for Jedi Master Kenobi? Well, how's your list different? Uh, different, you'd say. Different, Gary, can you fix the freaking transcript writer? God, differentiate itself from my list right here. Yes, thank you, Gary. Thank you for the quick correction. My gosh. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Always great to see you. And uh, of course, <laughs> it's always great to be in the empire today somebody around here let's roll out that outro i'll see you guys later Boom.